Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessia and these are beauty lessons, what God is speaking, teaching, and revealing to me. Today I wanna to share about the lessons I learned at Main Event. For those of you who don't know, Main Event is like an indoor activity center where they have laser tag, bowling, billiards. Some of them have ropes course in them. So, and it also has an arcade. So, uh, and if you go on a certain day, if you go on Monday, um, you get unlimited access to everything for a fixed price. So we took our team there after our, um, our outreach and just kind of as a time to decompress, to bond, have fun together. Um, we, we all went there one night and while we were there, we played laser tag. It was one of the first things we did. And in laser tag, I realized that the more shots you take, the higher your score will be. So even if you get hit, even if you get shot. So instead of camping out and uh, trying not to get hit, the more you try to take shots, even if you yourself get hit, the higher your score is. And I really, you know, I did that. Um, I don't care if I get shot in laser tag. I was just running around trying to shoot people. And so God showed me, you know, Tessia, there's areas in your life where I want you to take more shots, even if you get hit. And often I can be afraid of getting hit. I can be afraid of being disappointed, experiencing uh, loss, um, not you know liking how it feels when I get hit. In laser tag, I guess you don't really feel it when you get hit, but you see afterwards how you know how many. I mean, I guess you kind of can't shoot for a while. You're dead for like three seconds, and then you gotta wait to come back to life. So I guess you experience it that way. But um, God was showing me that I have to take more shots in areas in order to to win. In order to accomplish his purpose in my life, I have to be willing to take shots even if I get hit because more likely than not, I'm going to win. Overall, it's going to be worth it. And so often in our Christian life, we can be afraid of getting hit, afraid of pain, afraid of suffering, afraid of being uncomfortable even. Um, and so we don't take a shot for the Lord. We don't um, reach out and talk to that person or we don't uh, do what he's calling us to do in a relationship or um, at work or, uh, I don't know, ministry, speaking up, being honest, whatever it is. Often we won't take shots because we're afraid of getting hit. And God showed me you were fearless in getting hit. I didn't care if I got hit and I, I shot a lot of people and it was a lot of fun. So, and in the same way, God would want to make whatever he's calling you to fun. He would want you to enjoy whatever shot he's asking you to take and, um, be secure in him instead of afraid. So that was the first lesson. The second thing we did, we moved on to, um, air hockey. I really like playing air hockey. Um, I grew up playing air hockey at this, uh, this like dollar theater. They had um, an air hockey table in their tiny little arcade room. And my friend and I used to just play air hockey for hours because it was fun. So um, we played air hockey and I lost. And I said, and it was a close loss, but I lost. And I said, I want to play again. And it was emphatically like, I want to do this. I know I can win because I've won before, but it was, I said, I want to play again. The loss didn't really affect me. And God again showed me, have that attitude in life. Have that attitude in ministry. When you feel like you're not successful or you feel like you got pushed back or you feel discouraged, down, um, frustrated, have the attitude of, I want to try again. I'm not going to be a failure. I'm not going to let that failure um, define me. I can win. In Christ, I can win. So I want to play again. God was showing me, have that same attitude in ministry. When you're not successful, where you want to be successful, try again. Keep at it because there are things that God has called you to, things that God has called me to that he's saying, try again, keep going, do it again, do it again. You know, a good coach tells uh, their players on the team again, again, do it again, shoot it again, run again, um, whatever it is. They say again, 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 because you have to get better and better and better at your sport. So God was showing me, I want you to have the attitude that says, I want to go again because I want to master this. I want to win in this area. I don't want to be defeated by it. And often I don't apply that attitude to other areas of life. If I feel discouraged, if I feel um, insecure, if I feel pushed back, sometimes it's like, 
I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to go again. I, I lost. That's it. I'm done. I want to bow out. And God sometimes doesn't want us to have that attitude. He says, I want you to go again. I want you to try again, especially with sharing the gospel. The devil loves to tell us we have failed at sharing the gospel, that it was such a miserable experience, that it wasn't a good thing. I don't want to do it again. But God um, wants to refine us, perfect us, help us to get better at sharing his word with people. And he says, do it again. Um, the next thing that I, oh, that's right. Okay. So we went to play billiards and I do like playing pool. I like, um, billiards. I played a lot of online pool before I came to Christ and, uh, I don't have time for that now, but I learned like the angles and things and I like playing pool. I think it's fun. So they, we had an opportunity to play on two separate tables because we were um, such a large group. So there is a group of people who played on one table who were kind of like the better players. And then there was the table I was on. And it was basically me and people who didn't know how to play pool. Three ladies who didn't know how to play pool. And I was a little bit disappointed at first. I was a little bit like, I wanted to play pool. This isn't really playing pool. This is like teaching people how to play pool or just kind of shooting around rather than actually having a real game. And what I felt like God spoke to me was sometimes it's not about the game but it's about the people that you play with and I thought okay Lord the people that you have in my life and have surrounded me with are more important than what I'm doing who I'm doing it with matters and so that can apply to lots of areas in life sometimes we get so consumed or focused on this is what I wanted to do. This is the important thing. And God could say, the people that you're doing it with are more important than the activity that you're doing. So um, I felt like I was at peace after that. And it was like, okay, Lord, you know, the people are more important than the game. The, the last thing that I wanted to share from this little main event excursion that God showed me was we went back to play laser tag because a lot of people on our team like laser tag. I think it's fun, something we can all do together. Um, so we went back towards the end of the evening to play more laser tag and we had gone through once and we had gone through a second time. We played a second time with some people and during the second time, which was kind of our last time, um, or technically was our last time, I, in the middle, you know, they, they had us on teams of five people on red and three people on blue. And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. There's more red than blue. You know, how is this fair at all or even fun? Because I have less people to shoot now um, because I was on the red. So I went out and I said, can you change uh, it so we're even? So it's four and four. And she switched me. And so then I was on the opposite team and um, I got a lower score. Uh, I didn't have as much playing time and I got a lower score. And we played with these two guys who we ended up sharing the gospel with after. And in the moment, I thought, I want to say again, like I wanted to play again, but I didn't say it. I kind of held back and hesitated and um, and they would have played with us. We all, you know, would have had a great time. And but it was good that we shared the gospel with them, but I think we could have done it after we'd played again. Uh, again. So at the end of the night, you know, we go and do other things, more bowling or something. We come back and it was like, do you want to play laser tag one more time? And something in me felt dissatisfied with how we ended it. It's like I wanted one more game, um, but it was late and people didn't care. And it was like, okay, let's go home. So uh, we ended up going home. But what God showed me is that you need to say what you want to say, what you want, like say what you want, speak up about what you want from your heart. Because the moment could pass. You know, I've struggled with holding back, with hesitating, with not speaking forth truthfully in the moment, what I think, what I feel, what I want. And it's been detrimental to me at times. Um, sometimes people are too loud mouthed and they just let everyone know what they think and feel and want all the time. Uh, but for me, it's been a temptation to hide and to withdraw and to um, not express honestly. And so and that's even been, you know, in sharing the gospel, there's been times where I think of something to say and I don't say it, I hold back. And so I'm trying to be more um, in the moment, expressing my wants and my thoughts and, and feelings and being honest and letting God use me in the moment. And so it was just another reminder of say what you want. You know, you have not because you ask not. Say what you want because otherwise the moment could pass and, you know, you could leave unsatisfied. And how many people are unsatisfied or dissatisfied because they're not asking? Because they're not saying, this is really what I want, God. Please, will you work through this with me? Will you reveal yourself to me? Will you 
show me what your purpose is here. You have not because you asked not. So the last lesson of the night was say what you want, because if you don't speak up, if you don't have a voice, if you withhold and withdraw thinking my opinion doesn't matter, what I want doesn't matter, my thoughts don't matter, then you could leave and experience your life very dissatisfied. Whereas um, God wants to satisfy you. He wants to fill you. He wants to um, give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So I pray that this video blesses you. I pray it encourages you. I pray that you seek God in your day-to-day -day life and ask him um, to show himself to you. Because if God can reveal all these lessons to me while playing games with my friends at um main event, then God can definitely speak to you at any given moment, no matter what you're doing. So I pray you all have a blessed and a beautiful day, a day filled with God's beauty.